Well, yesterday I was gonna turn my pivots on, but they were water in the hand lines, so I'm gonna go turn them on right now. We're gonna be cutting it this weekend and chopping it next week. So I don't wanna put on very much. I'm just gonna put on half an inch. Should take about a day for these pivots to go around at that depth. So let's go turn them on. I've got three pivots to turn on. This is the first one driving down out to it. This one takes the longest for the uh, main line to pressurize. It's also one of our older pivots. It is the last one that we haven't upgraded to the new Ranky panels that work really well and we can actually control most of those with our with our phones, but this one still has an old panel. Gotta open this panel up. Oh, it's a little tough. All right, got it. All right, so the pump is way over there on the ditch bank over there. So to turn the pump on, it's already set to wet. That's on, I just have to go start. So now we've got power and this is the main line that goes in the ground and runs all the way across the field. There's also a couple holes in the main line out here that we need to check on, but it'll take five, 10 minutes for the water to get here. So I won't make you guys wait that whole time. One thing I do need to do is this is the speed. So to put on half an inch, I need to speed it up to about 30. And that will run the pivot fast enough that it only puts down half an inch of water. I can hear the, the water starting to come in. You can see it dripping, it's starting to fill up. Now we've got some water coming. Got to go up this tube. And then all the way down the pivot. All right, we've got water in the pivot. Now I just gotta turn it on. I'm just gonna flick this to reverse. I want it auto shut down. I'm gonna flick this to run. And we'll go set the next one. All right, I'm here at the next pivot. This one's a little bit different because we have a whole bunch of hand lines. You can see there's some sprinklers going over there. We have a whole bunch of different hand lines that run off this same pump. So before I can turn the pivot on, I have to go open up the pump, but I can't do that until I actually get water running through this pivot. So we have this big water valve here. I need to turn this to open. So it will start to fill this pivot with water and now I can go turn the pump all the way on and it won't have it won't build so much pressure that it blows the main line or something so now I'm gonna go set that this one this is one of those other panels I was telling you about nice new panel a lot easier to do while I'm here let's just set this so that way when I turn it on, it will just do exactly what I want it to do. I just have to start it up. So let me go do that. Okay, so there's a big valve under here that I had to close down. When they run pipe, they have to put extra pressure back into the canal so they don't blow the main line. So I had to do that. And then I have to come over here. There's a big valve on the pump that closes it down and we want to open it all the way up so we get all the pressure we don't want to have any pressure loss because that pivot needs as much pressure as it can get so now i'll go back over to the pivot and get it all started okay i'm back over here at the pivot and our pressure is building right there so just got to get above 41 all right we're above 41 so now i can hit start and it will it'll go around one pass at half an inch which right there it says it'll be done tomorrow morning at 10 51 so that's good take about a little over a day to get there i have one more pivot to start and it's way over there while i'm out here i thought i'd come look at the hay and it's getting tall well above my knee check see the buds 
Yep, there's the buds right there on the top. It'll probably be partly bloomed by the time we cut it, but that's okay. A little bit of bloom doesn't hurt it too bad. When it does bloom, it's got purple flowers all over it. Here's some right here. So these little, little purple flowers start to bloom. Kind of cool. It looks really cool, but it does lower the quality of the hay a little bit. Now, before I can turn this pivot on, I have to turn off their hand lines because they're not watering anymore. So I got to turn this valve off. I have to come over here, flip this switch so it'll run with the pivot. But now I can go over to the pivot center and turn it on. Got to walk across this little bridge to get to the pivot center. Makeshift bridge. There's another valve right here I have to close. Close this all the way. Make sure that valve's on. Now this one has an even more different panel. So we have to know how to run a whole bunch of different panels. So on this one, I just want to switch it to forward. Now it says that it's starting the pump. So in a minute, this little orange valve is a pressure relief and it's going to spray all over the place until that blue valve down there opens up. Here it comes. Now that that valve's open, it relieves the pressure. But this main line is 100 PSI main line, and when that pressure relief hits, it's 100 PSI. So we have to have that on there so it doesn't blow the main line up. Now I just have to set the depth and everything on here, and then I'll get it started. Set the depth, I go to rate. Come on, rate, I want A, set 24.4, enter, and exit. And then once it builds up enough pressure, this will switch from pump startup. Oh, there it just switched. So now it's running forward at half an inch. This one's watering. Should be done in about a day, and we'll turn it off and we'll cut hay next week. Our third crop. Well, thanks for joining me today, guys. Um, this is something we have to do all the time, so I hope you learned something. You can see that there's lots of different things that we have to know how to do and switch up. It's interesting when we rent a new piece of ground, we have to learn a whole new system of watering because the pivots are different, the panels are different, where you turn the water on is different, how you run it's different. So we're always learning, always troubleshooting. You have to know how to fix a lot of stuff. But if you like the content, please subscribe, it's free. So click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.